Building on the success of the One More Evos, we now have this release from them, some more ANC earbuds called the One More Eros. Now the Eros have a stem design to them, as you can see, so a very comfortable fit. And in fact, probably one of the most comfortable earbuds I have used this year to date. Now they have a 10 millimeter driver with them, and the ANC is up to 42 decibels with various different modes. You can see it a strong mode, light, and even a wind cancelling mode and adaptive so you can hear and amplify background noises. The runtime of these particular earbuds is five hours with the ANC on or 20 hours in total with the case, seven hours with it off and 28 in total. And they do have an IPX5 rating. So you don't need to worry about getting them wet or sweating on them. Now in this video too, I will do a bit of a comparison of them compared to these, the Evos. They're another set of very good TDOS earbuds from one more, but these ones also do have a feature that they are lacking, that is spatial audio. So using a gyroscope, it has real time head tracking. So when you move your head around, the audio will shift with it. So it's not just simply just swapping left and right with the stereo tracks. It's a little bit more complicated than that. And I'll explain it a little in this review of the One More Eros. The arrows do come really nicely presented, so once you pull off the wrap on the outside, open them up, you're presented with this, some sketches there. Now, I do like that they have included this. It's really cool to see the design of them and the design process. We have a type C to type A cable, some spare air tips. So they come with the mediums on them, but you do get some extra large and some small ones. We have a user guide and a warranty card. So here is the case. It comes with this really nice plastic. Now it's not a finish that's going to get all dirty and smudgy and show scratches. I've been using them now for a week and really they're not showing anything. You might see a few little smudges around here. So we have a reset button on the back of it. This is for pairing up too. So you can pair them up to two devices. And I like the hinge. So it does have a magnet in there that keeps it closed. So if you give that a rattle, a shake should I say, it won't rattle. You don't hear anything with them. They're really nicely presented and I like how easy they are just to take them out and easy to place them in. So magnets hold them in there, of course. You can see the Pogo port pin connectors there to charge them. They take around about uh, two hours to fully charge the case and an hour for the earbuds. Now the playtime of them depends if you're running the ANC. So with ANC off seven hours on a single charge with a total of 28 with the case. And then we do have five hours with the ANC on and 20 in total with the case. So you get three additional charges out of this quite compact case. Just down the bottom, there is a status LED with our battery life of the case there and our type C port there for charging. The case of the One More Eros is also a Qi wireless charging case. So if you've got a Qi wireless charger around, you simply place it on it and then you'll see the status LED that has now lit up and it is charging. So very convenient. You don't even need cables to charge it. Another feature of the Eros here is a 15 minute charge with the earbuds will give us a runtime of three hours. That is pretty good. So you can see the stems are a little bit longer than what you typically see with other earbuds here. Now we do have a DLC dynamic driver within them. Three microphones on each of the earbuds. There's six in total. So they're used for the noise cancellation that we do have up to 42 decibel reduction is one more's claim. And you'll see that there's a microphone down here. So one there, one there, one on the back. The silicon tips fit on really nicely. And there's a bit of a cover that goes over the mesh here just below that with silicon. Now there is a sensor here that so when you take them out of your ears, it will automatically turn off, put them back in, it will turn on. Our Pogo port pin connectors and overall a very good build quality to them. Now capacitive touch is on the back surface here and it seems to be pretty good. Occasionally it can be a little bit slow to react, I have noticed. And we do have a status LED right down in the tip that you will sometimes see flashing. There is of course an application called One More. Now as soon as you have them paired up to Bluetooth, you run the app, it will ask you for your case color. So there's a white version. I of course have the black right here. So very easy to see all the info you need on just this simple screen. So we've got our battery life. So we've got a listening mode right here. So ANC off, transparency mode. So you can hear, for example, uh, platform announcements, co-workers, and then our various different ANC levels. So we have ANC strong, that's up to the 42 decibels of ambient noise reduction, mild. Then you've got wind noise reduction. So if you've got a bit of blowing wind around, I do find it 
tends to work particularly well, better than just putting it on the other modes. And then adaptive, you may want to use that. Now we have custom settings here for our touch controls, capacitive touch. So you can change that if you want to. And I just keep it with the default, which I do find it works well. Now you've got smart loudness. Okay, you can set that up if you want through the app. And we have our sound options. Now they've just recently added this with the firmware update. You've got your custom equalizers here. There's 12 of them in total. Now when I'm listening and testing these out, I'm using the out of box default setting. You do have this too as well, a custom equalizer. Now it will save those settings from the equalizer onto the earbuds themselves. You don't have to keep running the app and that means it will work anywhere. So you could be watching Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and you will have the equalizer that you have set there. So I'm going to put it back on default. You can see it only takes a second to do that. And then we have our spatial audio. Now I'll just talk briefly about this because it does have the built-in gyroscope with it. And as you move your head around, the sound will move too. Now it's something that I view as maybe a bit of a gimmick here because I've really only used it about once or twice. And after that, I just thought, okay, it's kind of cool. And I've seen it before with other brands, um, LG. And I don't really know why they've added this instead of something like LDAC support. But I guess they don't add the LDAC support because you can get it with these. There are more Evos, which are slightly more premium with that. And then we have our firmware updates of which I've just received that recent one. So I wanted to do something a little different in this video and compare them also to the Evos. Now the One More Evos are some of my favorite TWS earbuds. I've been using them ever since I've got them and I just, I just love their sound signature. So the Eros are slightly different. Now I also will actually talk a little bit more about that spatial audio. A perfect example is using the spatial audio and playing, for example, a rock band. Now, something like Linkin Park here, you could close your eyes and almost imagine you're at a concert, even though, of course, the lead singer's not with us anymore. It's not possible, but it's like that. You close your eyes, and if you move your head around because of the gyroscope, it will give you that impression like you've got the band in front of you and the sound shifts slightly as you move your head about. So that adds to a level of immersion, maybe, for things I would say more like VR almost that these could be good if they did support VR and go with that. But as just some TDOS earbuds standalone ones, it's not really a feature of the spatial audio that I would be using a lot if at all. So sound wise, bass, very deep, powerful bass, no distortion, no clipping. Now the bass really needs around about at least 40% volume to kick in and start to sound uh, really deep and punchy. Below about 30% volume, you don't notice it as much, which is typical. That's kind of normal, more normal there. Vocals are good. Mids are good, yeah. And the highs, there is some detail, but not quite as detailed and as crisp as I would get with the Evos. And that's probably because, too, the Evos I normally run with the LDAC codec, which these simply do not support. So instead of that spatial audio, that's why I wish they had the LDAC support. However, there's a con. LDAC support takes a bit of a hit on the battery life because it's streaming a much higher data rate. Uh, you won't get the kind of run times that you will with these. That's what I've discovered. And the other is the fit of the One More Eros is a lot better because of the stem design. They're also a bit better to sleep in if you're going to fall asleep by mistake or whatever, or you like to listen to music, these ones better. These sometimes feel like they're going to fall out, but the fit's not too bad. So price point, cheaper. Sound of both of them is excellent. They both sound like more expensive earbuds to my ears. They've really got it down. And I love the tune. That's just listening to the default tune. Great sound quality. You really can't go wrong with both of these products here. The one more Aero and then the Evo. As for the latency with them, well, I've been watching Amazon Prime Video, an episode here of Expanse and no problems. It is in sync with their mouths. The only time I do see a bit of a delay is gaming, and that's pretty typical there. Unless you get some gaming earbuds that have ultra low latency, then you're gonna notice that. But for streaming services, so Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, all of that, they are fine, they're good for that. Microphone sample now of the One More Eros. So I do find these microphones to be excellent, really good high quality mics, and they do apply a bit of noise reduction in the background. So certainly they're about the same really as what I have experienced with the One More Evos and they are really improving on these mics for cool quality which used to be overlooked all the time by most brands but not anymore.
When you open up the case, they pretty much start to pair up straight away. You can see the status LEDs at the bottom, they're flashing, they're connected. Placing them in my ears, very easy to do. Just give them a bit of a twist and they sit there really comfortable. Now I've not had these fall out on me and I must say that these are probably some of the most comfortable TWS earbuds that I have worn and used for some time now, even maybe the last year. I can think of maybe the Tone Freeze from LG also being really comfortable, but these are in the same category and they're way more expensive. I'm talking about some earbuds that are twice the price and these I would rate as about the same comfort wise. I can even sleep in them, they're not too bad. But wearing them, just normally not sleeping uh, for at least three hours, and I've had no problems. They have not given me any fatigue. I don't feel like I need to take them out or anything like that. They are really good, and they're just solid the way they sit in there. So the ANC, let's talk a little bit about that. If I try now to focus and listen, and if I can hear my air conditioning compressor, and the fan of it, and then my Tower PC fan, no. I mean, they're not loud things, but it blocks out fans and things like that completely light chatter in the background. I've been listening to some, to some test tracks of just ambient noises like busy train stations and it does a really good job of blocking out, I wouldn't say all of that noise, but a good at least 80% with the strong ANC setting. Now you have the adaptive mode, you've also got the wind noise mode and transparency mode, but impressive up to 42 decibel ambient noise reduction with the one more error, so really like that. Now the tune of them out of the box is very good. So you get deep bass, uh, it doesn't clip. The bass comes in around about 30%, 40% above volumes, quite strong, which is pretty normal there. The mids, good. Vocals, great. The highs aren't quite as detailed, and the mids are a little not quite as good as the one more Evo. So if you want even better when it comes to sound quality, because we've got the LDAC codec 2 with them, which is that really high bitrate codec, so it's, it's removing a lot of that compression, or most of it really, that you would hear with AAC codecs or SBC, and they've got the hybrid, the dual driver setup. They do sound a bit better, but still, these sound excellent, great tune, and the microphones, as you heard from my sample, fantastic microphone quality. Do you remember a couple of years ago that some of these earbuds that I would review, they were that muffled you could barely understand what I was saying. And I used to be someone, and I know probably a lot of people in the comments or people could say that, yeah, actually I used to do the same. If I was gonna be placing a call, I would go onto Bluetooth and I would turn it off. I would disconnect my earbuds, then I'd place the call on the phone. I would never handle calls on these until now, really. It's just until, well, the recently, the last year and a half, that fantastic audio quality finding with microphones for handling calls. So all up, an excellent product, once again, from One More. The only thing for me is that spatial audio. While it's something that was fun to test out, I can't honestly see myself ever using it, ever again, than just testing it for this review. It gives you that, if you close your eyes, you could imagine that, yes, I'm at the concert, I'm there in person, you've got the band in front of you playing. It does kind of give you that immersion, that sound stage, that when you start to move your head about, of course it shifts around perfectly and accurately, giving that impression of like, wow, I'm there in person. But when you're listening to all kinds of genres, it's not something I actually look for, having it louder in one ear versus the other, when I turn around with the gyros, it's just, that's the, this thing for me. I would have preferred instead of that, that they use LDAC codec. That would have been good. Or maybe an Aptex codec would have been preferable over spatial audio. But hey, that's just me anyway. But so far, this really is a great product. And for the price point, you really cannot go wrong with these, the one more Eros and the one more Evos. Thanks a lot, a lot for watching my review.